connected to the real half mind. This is a target combo. Press heavy punch, then heavy kick. These inputs can be done fast, which at times will come in handy. This is another target combo. The heavy kick will be linked. With links, if your hit is not coming out, it is too early. If it is whiffing, it is too late. Going from back heavy kick to spiral arrow is a link. Depending on which version you use will change your timing. Light kick version comes out the fastest, heavy kick comes out the slowest. Down medium kick. Instead of pressing down again, just go to down forward, then forward, plus kick for this cancel. Going from heavy punch to quarter circle back, light punch is a cancel. Once you notice heavy punch connecting, perform the quarter circle back light punch. After Drive Impact Crush, you will link into Heavy Punch. The cannon spike is cancelled from Heavy Punch. Once the input is in, just hold Heavy Kick. The attack will release on its own once it's charged. After the Drive Impact Crush, your Heavy Punch will be a link, but the Quarter Circle Forward is a cancel. For the cannon spike with Light Kick, it is a link and done when Ryu is very close to the ground. Hold down for the first two hits, and going from crouching heavy punch to crouching medium punch is a link. Since you're already holding down for the first two hits, just press down forward, then forward, plus heavy kick. Hold down for the first two hits, going from crouching light kick to crouching light punch is a target combo. The quarter circle forward with two kicks, since you're already holding down, just press down forward, then forward, plus two kicks. For the final move, Cannon Spike, you are doing this from the opposite side, so the inputs are reversed from how it's listed. After the medium punch, you will link into the target combo, heavy punch to heavy kick. The heavy kick hits twice. But your quarter circle back with both kicks needs to cancel off the first hit. Quarter circle forward with medium kick will be performed once you hit the ground. You need to be at the correct distance in order for this to work. Space yourself from Ryu close to what you see here. After the forward plus heavy kick, cancel into your quarter circle forward heavy kick, but you need to hold heavy kick. Once the move is fully charged, it will automatically come out. Here again, you will have switched sides, so the OD cannon spike will be performed facing the left, not the right. Take a slight step back from the starting position as this requires specific spacing. When you get about here in your jump, perform the OD cannon strike. Upon landing, quickly perform your target combo back medium punch to heavy kick. As soon as you've pressed heavy kick, hold up forward to jump, then it's an immediate jumping medium punch into quarter circle back with kick. For this, you will want to use the medium or heavy kick versions for cannon strike. Another option is to move Ryu to the corner, jump back, then a slight dash back, and perform the combo. In the corner, any variation of the last air cannon spike will work. Wait till Ryu is about here in the air. For me, I like to wait until he is on the way down. The back plus heavy kick goes into an immediate cancel into quarter circle forward with two punches, and the follow-up attack with kick during OD hooligan combination needs to happen while you are still in the air. Upon landing is when you will perform the cannon spike. Following OD hooligan combination, you'll be pressing light punch plus light kick together. It doesn't have to be immediate, but definitely before Cannon gets too close to the ground. Before she stands back up, you need to perform the quarter circle forward with medium kick, and as soon as she lands from that, the cannon spike with heavy kick. From the down plus heavy punch, you will link into standing heavy punch, then immediately press forward forward for the dash. 
As soon as the dash starts, press back plus heavy kick. For the timing on quarter circle forward with heavy kick, you'll want it to hit about here. This will give you enough time for the cannon spike with heavy kick. Timing is tight. After the down plus medium kick, quickly tap forward forward for the dash cancel. Once the dash cancel starts, press heavy punch, then cancel into quarter circle back heavy punch. There's an input trick for the final two moves with very strict timing. You will perform an empty quarter circle forward, then down plus light punch, down forward, then forward plus kick. From the crouching medium punch, you can cancel into quarter circle back with two punches. Here, we will be skipping an input. Since you are already holding down for the medium punch, just press down back, then back with the two punches. During this move, you can start holding down for your next attack. The medium punch, which will be linked, and again, we will skip an input. Since you are already holding down for the medium punch, just press down forward, then forward plus two kicks. For Killer B's spin to connect, you need to perform the move before OD Spiral Arrow ends. To help with spacing, I did the trial from the starting position. After hooligan combination, press down plus kick about here. Once you land, it's a standing heavy punch, then canceling into cannon spike. This was a very odd cancel. You have to hold heavy kick for the charge, but this move gets canceled on the first hit. While you're holding heavy kick is when you will perform the double quarter circle forward heavy punch. By the time your double quarter circle forward comes out, the move will have charged. Timing is very tight and I suggest trying this facing both directions, especially for arcade stick users. Another option to help with timing in the beginning is using the charged version of Hooligan Combination. This gives you two hits in the air, allowing for more time for the standing heavy punch. After quarter circle forward with two punches, press light punch and light kick together when you get close to Ryu while you are still in the air. The drive parry dash will begin as soon as Kami lands. If this is delayed, the follow-up heavy punch will whip. From the heavy punch, you will cancel into quarter circle forward light kick, then link into cannon spike with medium kick. For the hooligan combination, I chose to use the charged version by holding heavy punch. Next is the down plus heavy kick in the air. Now, while still in the air, you can begin to hold down so when you land, you immediately go into the crouching position. Once there, press heavy punch, then link into crouching medium punch, which is then quickly canceled into the dash cancel, forward forward. During this, quickly press back plus heavy kick. This will then be linked into forward plus heavy kick, which is then canceled into quarter circle forward medium kick. The final cannon spike with heavy kick is another link. If it is not coming out, it is being done too early. If it is too late, it will whip. After the crouching heavy punch, you will link into back plus heavy kick. The speed with which you need to cancel here is vital to the rest of the combo. It has to be immediate. The hooligan combination with the follow-up kick will connect, but the drive parry dash into heavy punch will whip if the moves leading up to this are not performed fast enough. After the standing heavy punch that follows the drive parry dash, you will do another quarter circle forward with two punches. This immediately needs to cancel with kick, then upon landing, a double quarter circle forward with kick. Timing all throughout this particular combo trial is very tight. Of the combo trials I've done so far, this was by far the most annoying. Getting started, you'll need to wait till Ryu is about here on his way back up. 
Be careful with the back medium punch to back heavy kick. If you do this too fast, it will sometimes register as the target combo. Back medium punch to heavy kick. Going from the back heavy kick to the forward jump is a cancel. If you delay the jump, the medium punch will whiff. From the medium punch, cancel into quarter circle back with both kicks, then quickly perform another quarter circle back with kick. What this does is eliminates having to perform quarter circle back three times and cuts it to two. Once landing, it's quarter circle forward with heavy kick, but you need to hold heavy kick. Once the move is fully charged, it will release on its own. The OD cannon spike is a link. You will have switched sides, so it needs to be performed facing left, not right. For the quarter circle forward with heavy punch, you will need to hold heavy punch. Once the attack is charged, it will release on its own. Once you're close to Ryu, and still in the air, press down plus kick. Upon landing, press heavy punch, then you have an immediate dash cancel into another standing heavy punch. Identical to the previous trial, your timing here is very tight, the moves need to be canceled immediately all throughout or else the combo will drop. From the heavy punch, you will link into back medium punch to heavy kick and then immediately cancel into quarter circle forward with two punches. As soon as Kami is airborne, press kick to dive, then drive parry dash happens once you hit the ground. Note that she does not return to her standing animation. Another immediate two cancels here. First into heavy punch, then quarter circle forward heavy kick which needs to be held. This move will release itself once it's charged so that's the one area in this combo you don't need to worry too heavily on timing. Then the double quarter circle forward with punch. Kami will turn herself around for this move but it's technically performed from the direction you were already facing. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video helped. Any thoughts or questions, leave them in the comments section. Thank <laughs> you.